And now, the starting lineup for your Brockton Boxers. Number one, Jayla Smith. Number three, Elizabeth Williams. Number 22, Alexandra Williams. Number 33, Rebecca Tannen. And number 35, Jay Witt. The Brockton Boxes are coached by Chris Conner. At this time, I ask that everyone please rise and direct your attention to the flag as we honor their with the playing of our national anthem. My apologies, it will not be a national anthem. Game on. Welcome everybody to Brockton High Basketball. This is Miles Jackson bringing you all the action from Staff Gymnasium and this evening we have the Abington Green Wave going up against your Brockton Lady Boxers and it's going to be an exciting game I'm sure as Abington has done a great job this season. I don't have their record but they're a tough competitor and Brockton's got their hands full this evening. Lady Boxers win the tap. That's Elizabeth Williams with the ball. Back to her sister. Inside to Went. Went puts it up and in. Looks like she was hit on the shoulder, but she made the shot. Nice pass inside by Williams. And here comes the green wave. Nice defense there by Rebecca Tannis. And the paint, a little hook shot, no good. And it'll be Brockton's ball. This is Brockton Community Access Sports. Bringing the best in high school basketball. And tonight we got the Lady Boxers. Williams looks inside to Tannis, to the corner. Back out to Williams. Long three is no good. Brockton comes out of there with the rebound. Williams drives to the basket. Jayla Smith misses the ball, air ball. Went to Tannis. She tries to put it up, but it's blocked. And out comes Abington.
And nice play there by Abington. And that was number 50, Madison O'Connell. Good passing by the Green Wave. Tannis to the corner. And Brockton loses the ball, and out comes the green wave. And Alexandra drive, dribbles it out of bounds, so it'll be Abington's ball again. Green Wave gets it down quickly. There was some body contact, but no foul. Back comes the Lady Boxes. Williams drives to the basket. Up and in. Nice drive by Alexandra. 4-2 boxes. And there's a foul on Jayla Smith. Abington breaks the press. Brockton playing some good D. Ooh, look like a travel, but it's a foul. You could hear the slap all the way up here. And that's another foul on Jayla Smith. So that's Maureen Stanton at the free throw line. Makes her first free throw attempt. And she makes her second free throw attempt. The senior captain. Out top. That's Kiara King who's in there for Jayla Smith. Tannis back to Williams. Takes the shot but misses it. Out with the rebound is King and back out top is the Lady Boxes. Long three is as the three, uh, 30 second clock went off, no good. And gee, that was a good drive there. Number 35, Christiana Ramillard, another senior. This Abington team has a number of seniors on it, so they've got experience. And then kick ball, so it'll be the Lady Boxes. Tannis will get a rest as Montero comes in. Williams forces the pass in the middle and is stolen. And there's a foul on the floor. And they're going to call that on King. So they'll take it out underneath. 6-4, Abington. Abington gets into the corner, long three is no good. Went out to King. Williams. Across to Montero. Went's gonna take the three. No good. And Brockton's hit a cold spell. Last couple of minutes, no points. And King picks her pocket. 
Can she finish it off? Yes. Nice job there by King. Good defense. 6-6 six, six tie with 319 left in this first quarter. Nice drive there. Abington doing a good job driving to the basket. That was Lauren Kelleher, a junior. Long three by Williams is air ball, no good. Again, Abington beats the press. And there's going to be another foul that time on King. So it'll go underneath. 2.38 left in this first quarter. And right in there was number, f number 10 who just came in, Megan McCadden. Abington get, getting a lot of their points inside the red paint. Shot is no good. Out comes the Lady Boxes. King with the long three, no good. Foul on, I believe, on Lorenzo. Nope. Take a call on Montero. So, Abington has been going to the hoop and has been getting fouled countless times, and they've been at the free throw line a number of times in this first quarter alone. They're just driving to the basket. So Montero will come out and Tannis will come back in for the boxes. Here comes Lorenzo. Gets it down quickly. Nice job there, Tan Tannis following a shot. Shot is blocked. Ooh, nice job by Went. And Williams misses the easy bunny. And back come the green wave. Golden opportunity miss, missed right there by the Lady Boxes. And none of the lady boxers went after the basketball. Everybody just kind of stood still there. They're going to have to be more aggressive going after the rebound. Tannis comes out of there, gets it out to Williams. Williams drives to the basket, another bad pass. Tried to force it in there. And back comes Abington. Get it out top. Long three is no good. Brockton in there fighting for the rebound. Comes out of there is Lorenzo to Williams. Lorenzo. Takes the three, just misses in and out. And Tannis fights for the rebound, and it's a jump ball. And it's Abington's possession. 
We got 14 seconds left in this first quarter. Box is down, 10-6. Just a strong drive to the basket. Shot is missed. And they're going to call travel. So with four seconds to go, Abington has one last chance to get a shot off. Shot is missed. Brockton with the rebound. And that's it for your first quarter. Abington up 10 to six. And it was Abington's driving to the basket. Their rebounds in the paint. Gives them this four point lead. Brockton has gone cold. They've only scored two points in the last, say three, four minutes. And they've got to do something on defense to, to stop this strong Abington team that dr likes to drive to the basket. They do have some weight behind them. And their quickness is deceiving. So we get to go in the second quarter here. This is Brockton Community Access, Access Sports. I'm Miles Jackson, bringing you all the courtside action here at uh, Staff Gymnasium. Went with the ball back to Williams. Williams is looking for somebody inside. Finds Went. Jayla Smith. Three seconds on the shot clock. And out of there comes uh, Abington with the uh, uh, defensive boards. Nice steal there by Williams. Williams tries to get in there to uh, Oko, shot is taken, shot is no good, rebound Jayla Smith. She gets it up quickly to Williams, she drives to the basket up and in. Nice job right there by the boxes. 10-8, Abington. Boxes with the press. Abington doing a nice job adjusting to the press. And there's a foul right there. Over the back on Went was uh, number 42, Jessica Brundage, another senior. Came over Went's back. Went with nice, nice uh, defensive position under the boards. Williams with the ball. Went with the short jumper, no good. Oh, nice block. Back come the lady boxes. Williams to Went. Crossover. What kind of a wild shot to the basket. Almost made it, but no good.
Ball stolen by the Lady Boxers. Williams to Witt to Jayla. Good, nice passing by the Lady Boxers. Jayla Smith with the easy bunny. Tied up. Shot is missed. Oko with the, and she throws it away, trying to get it back to her teammate. But threw it away. Still be Abington's ball. <laughs> wow. Shot is missed. Abington back out top in the paint. In the corner for three. Good. That was Christiana Remelled. Inside, nice pass, and Fernandez blew the shot. Couldn't have it any easier. 13 to 10, Abington's up. Four minutes, 15 seconds left in the second quarter. Fernandez with, almost with the steal. She dives for the basketball. Oh, nice pass on the floor. Williams puts up and in. So Fernandez makes up for that last blunder and makes a nice steal and a nice pass while she's on the floor. Gets it to Williams and she lays it up and in. Easy two right there. Christiana Ramillard. Right underneath. Little breakdown on defense by the Lady Boxers. Good by Williams. And that was Alexandra. Makes the three. Tied up with 327 on the clock. Here in this second quarter. Tight game. And they're going to call a foul. And that'll be on Elizabeth Williams. So Abington will take it out. In the corner, back out top. Long three is good. Christiana Remillard. Making some noise out here on the court in this second quarter. Tannis. Back to Williams. Inside to Montero. And good hustle there by Remillard. Brockton's out on top, top of the key, that is. Still down by three, long three is no good. Tannis, ball is taken away, but Williams steals it back into Jade Went. She's in the paint, drives, shoots, misses. And back come the green wave. Two minutes, 18 seconds on the clock. And blocked by Williams. Rejected, nice D. Montero drives to the basket, lays it up and in. Box is down by one, 18-17 with two minutes to go here in the second quarter. In the, in the paint and a nice defense. 
and it'll be on 33, I believe, Tannis with the foul. But that was a good foul. Good defense by the Lady Boxers. She'll have to earn it at the free throw line. That's Maureen Staten at the free throw line. Makes her second free throw attempt. Boxes down by three with one minute 40 seconds to go. Into Williams, she takes the long three, no good. Rebound went out back out top. Williams with the ball, looks, drives to the basket, shot is good. Gets a nice boxer bounce. Lady Box is down by one. Long three is no good. Ball is bouncing around. And it'll be Abington's ball. Lorenzo trying to get in. Comes in from Montero. The Green Wave will take it out underneath. Abington with the third offensive rebound. Oh. Looked like it could have possibly been a charge on Abington, but no whistle. Referees are more or less letting them play in this first half. 42 seconds to go. Williams looking for someone. Williams to Lorenzo. Lorenzo can hit that outside shot if she's open, but she hasn't been open this um, in this first half so far. Abington doing a good job on defense. 11 seconds to go in this ball game, excuse me, in this first half. Lays it up and in. Abington comes down, and that's what they've been doing. And there you go. Second quarter has ended where the box is trailing by three points, 22 to 19. And they're going to have to adjust on their defense in the second half. They adjusted okay in that second quarter, but still Abington taking advantage in the paint. But in that second quarter, Abington did hit a lot of outside shots. So we'll be back with second half action in a moment. Hey guys, what's up? It's Liza Koshy, and today I'm gonna tell you a little story about my anxiety. So I turned 20, um, I had been moved out to LA. I was doing different stuff out here and having fun and just being myself until anxiety hit me like a brick. <laughs> Mine specifically is social anxiety, which is ironic for the job that I have as a social influencer. <laughs> talking to a camera was something that always made me feel comfortable. Um, talking to a camera right now is much better than me talking to a person because I'm a socially anxious person. And so dealing with my anxiety was um, hard and I'm still dealing with it, but it's not something that can't be dealt with. I have a friend who opened up to me about his OCD and it was something that was very tough for him to open up about because he had never opened up to anybody about it before. And I completely related to that because I had been holding in my feelings about my anxiety for an entire year. It just started this free flow of conversation between both of us about my anxiety, about his OCD, about these two things that we didn't know about each other. We thought we knew each other so well, but it wasn't until we opened up about our mental health that we really, really connected even more. Now we actually have a code name whenever I'm feeling anxious or whenever he's having, you know, his thoughts. It's called Tiffany. It's just like, hey, Tiffany's here. She's 
freaking here, man. It feels good to be able to label something and, and, and put it away in your brain rather than let it become your entire brain in itself. Everybody has some sort of mental health to take care of. It is a part of your health. It's something that you live with and that's something that you learn to deal with by opening up to people about it. It allowed me to understand myself more as a person, allowed me to accept that it's a part of me rather than pushing it off and saying, no, this isn't me, this isn't me. It's a part of me and it's something that I'll always live with and deal with, but it doesn't define me. Welcome back everybody to Brockton High Basketball. We've got the Lady Boxers in a real battle against the Abington Green Wave, which they're up by three. And here we go, starting the third quarter. Brockton somehow is going to have to adjust on their defense inside and prevent Abington from scoring so many easy points in the paint. So ball taken underneath by Abington. Staten inside. Little bounce pass, shot is missed. Abington with the rebound, and it'll be Abington's ball. Abington doing a great job on the offensive boys, getting second and third attempts if they miss it. In the corner. And they're going to call a foul on King. And these Abington Green Wave know how to protect the basketball when they have it. They're using their, uh, if most of them are righties, they're using that right arm to protect themselves. Getting distance from the, the ball in the um, defensive play is stolen by the Lady Boxers. Here they come. Williams. Inside the went. Went back out to Kayla. Jayla. Long bomb is good. That was Alexandra Williams. Tied up. 22-22. Boxes in the press. Trap press. And almost stolen by Williams. So it'll be Abington's ball. Jayla Smith. Went in the corner to King. Bomb. Good. Three pointer. 25 22. Boxes with, with, uh, with their um, first lead in a long time. They get the rebound. And back come the Lady Boxes. Williams. In the corner to King. He's, she's going to try it again. No good. Went battling for the rebound. Spins. Gets it back out top. Inside to Williams. No good. Ooh. Nice job there. Again, Abington getting second attempts. Takes advantage and gets the uh, rebound and puts it back in for two. So we got a timeout with 5.38 on the clock. Boxes up by one, 25-24 here at Staff Gymnasium. I'm Miles Jackson. And now we got the postman with his videotape. And we want to thank Phil Filippis, Filippides for um, taking care of the camera work in that first half. Philippides.
Okay. Edmonton's back out on the floor, and here comes the Lady Boxers. They're really battling it out in this third quarter. 5.38 left in the third quarter. Williams inside to the other Williams sister. King throws it up. No good air ball. Stolen by Jayla Smith. Here comes Went. Stops, pops, no good. Took a runner. Oh, nice passing by the Green Wave, and they make it look easy. They take the lead back, 26-25 with 440 on the clock. Long bomb is no good. Jayla Smith, I mean, that was uh, King with the rebound. Shot is missed. Back comes Abington. Ooh, nice save. But, oh, stolen by King. One on one. And she smartly brings it back out top. In the corner, King takes it and misses the shot. Stanton with the ball. And knocked out of bounds by King. And she'll get a rest by Montero. Jade Went will get a rest as Tannis comes in. Abington takes it out. Abington up by one point. Long three is no good. Rebound Abington. And there's going to be a foul on Brockton as Abington gets another offensive uh, rebound. And that's uh, Christiana. Nope, excuse me. That's, um, I believe, Corin Mahan. At the free throw line, a junior. <laughs> free throw attempt, no good. And here come the lady boxes. Inside to Tannis, she puts it up. No good. Oh, nice block by Williams to Tannis. And she loses it. Back come the green wave. Oko gets it. Abington long three, no good. She could have took a step in, would have made the shot. Two minutes, 40 seconds left in this third quarter. And shot is good. Christiana Remillard. Excuse me, that was uh, Corin Mahan that ma made the inside move. So a chance for a three-point play for Corin Mahan. Free throw is good. Abington up by five. 
2.30 on the clock here in the third quarter. And not a good pass. Stolen by Abington. And they're going to call a foul. A, a foul on Tannis. Wow, wild shot. But Abington gets the rebound and puts it in. And Brockton calls a timeout. So with 156 left in this third quarter, Edmonton's opened their lead up by seven with their great aggressive offensive rebounding inside. And Brockton doesn't seem to have an answer for that. So the coach will sit down and talk to them and see what they can come up with. I'm Miles Jackson bringing you all the action here at Staff Gymnasium and the beautiful city of Brockton. As the Lady Boxers having a tough time with their neighbors, the Abington Green Wave. Making a loud statement on their offensive rebounding. And we're in the third quarter. So Elizabeth is at the top of the key. Shot is missed, three-pointed by Montero. Goes in for the rebound. Still has it, and they're gonna call foul on Abington. Nice job by Montero. Took her sh the three-point shot and went in for the rebound. And got fouled. Nailani Mon Montero, a sophomore. Out top to Lorenzo. Inside to Went. Went tries to put it up. And good defense by um, Abington. Blocked the shot that Went tried to put up. Tough shot. She was kind of underneath the basket. No call. They get it in the corner, inside, and travel. Good defense by the boxers there. As uh, Corin Mahan couldn't go nowhere and took an extra step. So one minute, five seconds left to go in this third quarter. Lorenzo takes a shot, miss, almost rebounded by Oko, and she's fighting for it, but loses the ball. Ooh, nice defense. Drives to the basket. And here come the green wave. That was good defense. And easy basket missed. Break for Brockton, 24 seconds on the clock. Williams comes down, tries to throw it up. And she misses. Abington comes out of there with the ball. And they will get the last shot with 10 seconds to go. Here in the third quarter. In the corner. Long three. No good.
So with one second on the clock, I believe Abington will have the basketball. No, it's going to be Brockton's ball. 32-25. Still down by seven. So that's the end of the third quarter. Box is down by seven. Still trying to find an answer for this tough, tough inside game that Abington has. And they've been doing what they want inside the red paint all evening. And Lady Box is doing their best to, to hang in there. You can see the coach talking to his team. And here we go, getting down to the critical time, the fourth quarter. Can Brockton adjust and make an effort to make a run and somehow come out of here with the victory against this tough, tough Abington Green Wave team? So Brockton will take the ball out. King back to Williams inside the win. Ooh, almost an up and down. In the paint. Went somehow get, comes out of there with the ball. Williams. Four seconds on the clock, on the sh shot clock. Two seconds on the shot clock. Almost made it. Williams with the wild shot. And Lady, Lady Green Wave gets a sub in. That's Stanton that comes back in. And Ramilla gets it to Williams. To Went, to King, long threes, good. Big shot right there, just for mo uh, momentum purposes for the Lady Boxes. 34-28, six point lead by the uh, Abington team. Good defense by uh, Elizabeth Williams. Got a hand in there and held the ball. Way outside shot is no good. Rebound Abington and back out top. And they're going to call it out on Jayla Smith. She got a hand in there. Ooh, Montero got her hands on it. Inside, hook shot, no good. And nice job by Montero to grab that basketball. Williams gets it, tries to get inside the win. Not a good pass. A lot of traffic. Back come the uh, Abington, Abington High green wave.
shot no good. Jayla Smith in there fighting for the ball. The smallest player on the court. And with her hustle, there's a foul on one of the Abington players. So we got five minutes, 45 seconds to go. Box is down, 34-28. They need some baskets. Went to Williams. To Went, went with the three. No good. And Went, she can hit that shot. But not that attempt. Driving to the basket, no good. Williams with the rebound. Here come the Lady Boxes. They need a shot. Almost lost, but Williams regains the basketball. Went back to Williams. Long three, no good. And it's a jump ball. And it'll be Boxer basketball. Boxers did a nice job right there being aggressive on the boards. Montero takes it. Ah, oh, just missed. Stanton with the ball. And it'll be Abington's ball off of uh, Jade Wentz's foot. Four minutes, 11 seconds left in this basketball game. Abington underneath gets it in the paint. Shot is no good. Rebound went out to Williams, and here come the Lady Boxes. Williams tries to drive. Good defense. And it'll be Boxer basketball. As Elizabeth was trying to make something happen. Went with the three. No good. Abington bringing the ball down slowly. They know the clock is in their favor. And up and down. And good defense there by Alexandra Williams. So it'll be Lady Basketball. They need a basket here. They've created the turnover. Now they need to make a basket. Cut this lead down. Abington playing some great defense all night long. Brockton has, has had to earn every shot. Went in the corner, spins, and makes the two. Nice job by Jade Went with the spin move. 34-30 with 3.25 on the clock. Boxes not giving up. Brockton coaches yelling out defensive scheme. Drive hard to the basket, no call. And they're going to call a timeout by uh, Abington. So we got a timeout with 3.07 on the clock. Abington Green Wave up by just four points over the Lady Boxes. And the Lady Boxes have to figure some out, something out here on defense. Nine seconds left on the 30-second clock, shot clock for uh, Abington. So they have nine seconds to get a shot off. And Brockton has to somehow really tighten up on that inside area on this particular play. They don't want to give up the, the easy two. If anything, they want to make Abington earn their shot, hopefully from the outside. But Abington has been deadly from the outside if the man hits open, so Brockton's going to have to play tight defense even on the outside shots. 
against this um, hot Edmonton Green Wave team. So Abington will take it out underneath. Open man, good. And that's what Brockton did not want to do. Leave open Christiana Remillard. Inside, outside, shot. No good. And Abington comes out of there with the rebound. And smart play there by Abington. That's L Lauren Kelleher. Jade Wint playing great defense, and the only thing she could do is bounce it off of Jade Wint's leg. So with 2.38 on the clock, Abington right now in the driver's seat. Inside the red paint, good. Too easy. Too easy. Williams, no good. And 33 Tannis with the body foul. And Tannis will come out. Brockton needs their shooters in there. That's why you got Montero and King. And it'll be Brockton's ball with two minutes, six seconds left. Brockton's down by nine points. They're going to need some threes. But Abington's been doing a great job on defense with the outside shot. Inside to Williams. Spins back outside to King. King drives, stops, pops, no good. Williams with the rebound, and I believe she was fouled. And Lorenzo will come in, who's a, another good outside shooter. Way bomb. No good. That was Elizabeth Williams way out there beyond the three-point line. Outside. Abington just using up the clock. And going to the basket, and she is fouled. That was Maureen Statton. And she will go to the free throw line, and that's been the storyline all this evening for Abington. They've taken advantage and gone to the hoop many a times and either made the shot or got fouled. And the first free throw attempt is missed. And she makes her second free throw attempt with one minute, 20 seconds to go. Long three by Lorenzo is missed. Long three, open sh open man, no good, went. Brings it down herself. Long three. And 
with 32 seconds left. Edmonton in control with a 40 to 30 lead over the Lady Boxes. Shot inside is missed by Went. And the green wave is going to come out of here at, in Staff Gymnasium with a well-deserved win. They stuck to their game plan and took advantage of their rebounding advantage over the Lady Boxes. Well, there you have it. The Lady Boxes go down this evening 40-30 to 30 against their neighbors, Abington Green Wave. So there you have it, folks. We'll be back with more action Friday night. Catholic Memorial goes up against the Brockton High boys here at Staff Gymnasium. I'm Miles Jackson, along with Mike Simmons, who did a great job in his second half with the camera work. Right here from Staff Gymnasium, everybody have a nice evening.